The entire Eagles team are doing it to Trump at White House visit as sick as it gets. Trump is going to teach them a lesson. On Sunday, the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl after a 58-year drought, and you would think this would be a time to celebrate and set aside political differences. Well, it would if we didn't live in the day and age of virtue signaling and social justice warriors hijacking everything we know and love. So, after the Eagles won the big game the invitation to the White House was extended, and of course, three virtue signaling Eagles announced that they would not meet President Trump. Needless to say, that announcement rubbed fans the wrong way and proved exactly why the Super Bowl ratings were the lowest in eight years. Now, the entire team has a sick message for Trump, and if they go through with this, you can bet that next year the Eagles won't have any fans in their stands to cheer them on. In the past, an invitation to the White House was an honor, but thanks to Obama and his divisive tactics for the last eight years everything has been turned upside down. Sadly, our country has been torn apart by identity politics that pit Americans against each other and if you do not agree with that statement you are racist, xenophobe that deserves to die. And, that is not an exaggeration of how bad it has become in our country, which brings us back to what the entire Eagles team is planning. Over the last NFL season, players decided to continue Colin Kaepernick's disgusting antics of kneeling during the national anthem, and while Eagle players did not participate in this protest, many players empathized with the movement and made their disgust for President Trump known. So, when they won the Super Bowl Malcolm Jenkins, Tory Smith, and two-time boycotters L. E. Garrett Blount and Chris Long said they would not attend the White House visit. Okay, that is fine they do not have to go, but now rumors are circulating the entire team may join in the boycott which spells bad news for Eagles franchise. Here is more from New York Daily News. Rumors are circulating on social media that the Eagles are planning to boycott as a team. The Eagles, who arrived back in Philadelphia Monday afternoon, did not immediately respond to a request confirming those rumors. In September, Trump called NFL players who demonstrated against police brutality and racial injustice during the anthem Sons of Bitches. The left-leaning Eagles are the first team to win since those racially charged comments. We read the news just like everyone else, Smith said. They call it the anthem protest. We're not protesting the anthem. It's a protest during the anthem. My father when he dies is going to be buried with an American flag draped around his casket, being that he served in the army. Also, there are soldiers that have issues going on right now and they are things that affect them. They're things that affect my father. He understands both sides of the issue. Trump congratulated the Eagles on Twitter for winning their first Super Bowl Sunday night. The left-leaning champs are among the most socially conscious teams in the NFL. Jenkins, who raised a fist for the national anthem for parts of two years, helped to found the Players' Coalition of Socially Conscious Players around the league. The coalition is credited with leaning on the NFL to pledge $89 million to community groups. Long played for free this season and was the first white player to cross the color line and participate in the anthem demonstration. For most of the season, he placed a hand on Jenkins's shoulder. He also lobbied lawmakers on criminal justice reform alongside Jenkins and donated his entire salary this season to create educational opportunities for kids. Smith was a teammate of Colin Kaepernick's in San Francisco when the polarizing QB started the anthem protests. Smith tweeted Monday his decision to boycott Trump goes beyond politics. I don't think he's a good person. To be honest, this is a real shame to hear. For the last few days, the American people have heard how this team put God first the entire season, and now to witness this level disrespect for the President of the United States is upsetting. Hopefully, they will reconsider the team boycott and remember regardless of their politics President Trump is still the nation's leader and whether they like it or not they are biblically commanded to respect that.